Hey, do you know what cuddle drop is? Okay, let me rewind. Hi, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. One of the major health benefits to my job is the production of oxytocin. Oxytocin is the neurotransmitter that's produced in your body when you cuddle someone. It decreases heart rate, it boosts your immune system, it decreases the levels of cortisol in your body, it increases your ability to connect to people. It's a pretty awesome thing. And it can create really intense experiences. And just like with any other neurotransmitter, when you release a lot of it, your body has to spend time making more. So something I always prepare my clients for is after a session in the next 24 to 48 hours, they might experience a thing we call cuddle drop. People experiencing cuddle drop can feel a little extra lonely. They can feel a little extra vulnerable. They might be slightly more emotional. Important thing to remember is that it's just your body trying to replenish your stores of oxytocin. And once they're replenished, that feeling will go away. I cuddled for four hours yesterday. It was amazing, blissful, and so needed. But now my stores of oxytocin are depleted and I'm experiencing cuddle drop. This is a normal part of the process of integrating touch back into your life. When your body isn't used to regularly releasing oxytocin and replenishing it, like when you are isolated from touch due to a pandemic, it's normal to feel sad, lonely, tired, irritable, or overwhelmed in the 24 hours following a long cuddle session. So it's important to be very gentle with yourself. Give yourself lots of love and permission to feel your feelings during that time. Try not to numb or push those feelings away. Remember that this is temporary, and you will likely feel back to normal the following day. The more often you can experience touch the less you will feel the effects of cuddle drop.